When you do business in currencies other than your base country currency, it is important to define exchange rates for automatic conversion of amounts and reporting. And account balances for foreign currency amounts can be revalued when the exchange rate changes. To activate multi-currency functions, you first need to open company settings. And from the currency section, select multi-currency enabled. This makes all currencies other than the base currency selected here considered as foreign currencies for setup and transaction entry. Once the multi-currency option is saved, you won't be able to turn it off. Next, from the Edit top menu, choose Currencies to access the list of available currencies for editing or creating, if user security allows. When you edit the base currency, you can change labeling and report formatting, but access to exchange rate values is prohibited. More interestingly, editing other currency records allows setting an exchange rate for applying to transactions, with a direct method multiplying the rate to determine the base amount, and the indirect method dividing the rate. The Monthly Rates tab shows exchange rates used in the past by month, used in revaluation of ledger accounts. If you plan on creating item prices for foreign currency customers that are different than simply an exchange rate calculation from the base currency price, you can use the default Sell Price Level button to allocate one or more of the 20 price levels to be reserved for foreign currencies. Simply click in the Currency column for that price level and select the currency code. Assigning currency codes to customers and vendors is very straightforward. Before any transactions are posted, you can open the Billing tab and access the Currency field, choosing the required currency code. Transactions for this customer or vendor will recognize that a different currency is in place. You do not have to set this field to the base currency, as this is assumed if there is no code selected. It is only necessary for foreign currency codes. If there are any outstanding or historical transactions, the currency field will not be editable. When creating a new ledger account, you can assign a different currency if you wish to track and report on amounts in different currencies separately. In the account header, a currency code is available to include only during the creation phase. Once the account is saved, this field is no longer editable. You will want to create foreign currency accounts for many of the special accounts and company settings, such as revenue, expense, bank, or control accounts. Accounts assigned a foreign currency may have the revalue option enabled, most often for balance sheet accounts, but it could be any type. Once transactions have been posted to a foreign currency ledger account, you can choose to revalue the account and recalculate the base currency equivalent of account balances when the exchange rate changes. From the Account List screen, click the Revalue button to open a list of foreign currencies. Choose which currencies will be revalued, and the revaluation date to determine the exchange rate and set the transaction date. Continuing from here, we'll update the base currency debit or credit balance to the new calculated value for all accounts set to allow revaluation, and create a transaction that touches each account and the specified gain or loss on currency account from company settings. When creating transactions in either accounts receivable or accounts payable, amounts are automatically in the currency of the selected customer or vendor. Posting the transaction will update accounts for the foreign currency, with both foreign and base currency equivalent amounts maintained. If the foreign currency account doesn't exist yet, it will be created on the fly, rather than post amounts to the base currency account. When you create a payment in accounts receivable or payable, where the current exchange rate is different than what was used for the invoice, the calculated base currency amounts will be different. In order for the accounting to balance in the control accounts, this base currency difference will be posted to the gain or loss on currency account. Item valuation for stored costs is always in the base currency only, 
but you can assign item pricing based on currency, either on the item or through the price matrix. When editing an item and from the prices and units tab, you can enter a unit price for any level, including those that have been configured with a specific currency. This price will be available for sales associated with this currency and will be the default price for sales orders using this price level. On price matrix records, you can assign a currency code for customer selection, along with other criteria. This is typically used when you want to assign a price to a group of customers by currency instead of a specific customer, and perhaps a group of items by product code or all warehouses instead of a specific item, or you want to give this price a high priority. On sales orders, for customers that use a foreign currency, the item unit price is calculated from the base currency unit price and the exchange rate displayed above the order total. Similarly, the unit costs are calculated and displayed in the foreign currency amount here so that margin percentages are determined correctly. If another price was defined on the inventory item for that currency, it will be listed in the price drop-down field next to the assigned price level. If a price matrix value is available, it will only be applied if it is lower than the calculated currency unit price or set with a high priority. When creating an invoice and applying a payment, the amount entered is also in the customer currency. If the revenue or the special control or payment accounts have the customer currency code assigned to it, posting the transaction will update these accounts with the foreign currency amount. Other accounts, such as the inventory control and cost of sales, will get an amount in the base currency equivalent. Forms also print amounts in the customer currency. On purchase orders, for vendors that use a foreign currency, the item unit cost is calculated from the base currency unit cost and the exchange rate displayed above the order total, with no other choices to choose from. Any edits are considered in the vendor currency, except for duty and freight on the item lines which are in the base currency. When a purchase order is received and invoiced, amounts here are in the vendor currency, including if a vendor freight amount is added. Posting the invoice will update accounts associated with the vendor currency if they exist, such as accrued payables or accounts payable. In Ledger Account Reconciliation, balances are entered in the currency of the bank to match up with what you would see on your statements. Bank fees and interest are also entered using the bank currency. When one of these bank transactions is posted, respective accounts for this currency are updated or created on the fly instead of posting to the base currency account. In the Budgets module, you can click the Foreign toolbar button to see budget and forecast and actual amounts in the currency assigned to the account. When you edit either a budget or a forecast, the amount is stored independently from the base currency rather than get calculated from an exchange rate. Toggling the foreign button off will show whatever amount was entered for the base currency, which could be zero. Whenever a job and account is included on a foreign currency transaction, either for revenue or expenses, the base amounts are calculated. The posted transaction will maintain both foreign and base amounts, but on the job, only the base amount is accumulated in the job statistics. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist and subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.